Hello everyone, my name is Bajesh and today I'm going to give you three simple tips through which you can improve your mobile phone photography. They are very simple and easy to use. Let me start with tip number one. While taking photos using a mobile phone or even DSLRs, it's always best to activate the 3x3 three three grid lines. Okay. Now this will actually help you use the famous, one of the most widely used compositions which is known as the rule of the third. In the rule of the third, you actually uh, get your subject in one of the intersecting points which will make your image very interesting. I want you to try this. Take an image with the rule of the third and take a similar image or the same image with your subject in dead center and it will really you can see the difference tip number two because now i want you to look at this because your mobile phone is very thin the stability is really a concern because the dslr gives you the ability to hold the lens at the same time it's got enough grip to hold uh, the camera body but with with mobile phones because it's so thin we need to get into a position where we are standing stable okay which means both your feet are on the ground and use both your hands don't try to take images just using one hand or you know just because you're gonna get that shaky image use both your hands you can easily use your thumb to take the image okay and if you're looking for a little more stability let me tell you something more interesting if you're looking for a little more in stability bring your hands closer to your body lock yourself on the sides of your rib and this will give you a lot of stability compared to what you were using without without that support okay so this is how you can do it and which will help you pan across at the same time go down to your angles as well tip number three whenever you are using the portrait mode in your mobile phone it is ideal or it would be best to shoot waist and above okay it will give you the right kind of bokeh which will be very close to a dslr okay so the ideal case scenario would be waist and above if you think no you're looking for a different angle the knees and above would be good and even shoulders and above because in the post processing you can always use the aperture to get the right the right kind of bokeh effect which will give you the depth of field and which will be very close to a dslr so i'm just going to leave you with some images that i've shot using these methods i want you all to try them and let me tell you this will really improve your photography skills go shoot bye